It was at this moment I knew it was time to trim my ends. I'm trimming my hair today. It needs to trim. It's been a while since I've trimmed it. <gasps> I'm gonna do it today. Of my hair trimming scissors. I wanna make sure this is the scissors you don't use for anything else. You're gonna only use it to trim your hair. The amount of times I've told my husband do not use my scissors. One of these days he's gonna learn. So I'm gonna trim my hair. Mm. All right, so. So we're trimming. So I'm gonna do them in sections. Hairs. I haven't trimmed my hair in a long time. For the most part, what I do on a general basis, on a day to day basis, when I'm styling my hair or just putting my hair in one, like usual, I find any. You can see what my hair, the ends of my hair look like. They're a mess. These are the ends of my hair. They look all raggedy. Alright, let's get started. First, I'm going to section my hair and get most of it out of the way. Now you want to take as small a section as you can and gently detangle with a wide tooth comb. Or you can skip the comb and just finger detangle just this small section. want to get your hair as smooth as possible and create tension so that you are snipping just the ends. In this case, I only removed about half an inch to an inch of hair. After cutting, the white tooth comb just slipped right through my hair without getting stuck in tangles. I repeated the same process with the rest of my hair. Section, comb with a wide tooth comb. I smoothed with my fingers and I did any finger detangling on my hair. And snip away. And cut as much as you think is necessary. Then I moved on to the other side of my hair. I repeated the same process, I sectioned, finger detangled. I ditched the wide tooth comb after a while, it was getting too tangled in my ends. Smooth and stretch and create as much tension in your hair as possible and snip those ends. Say bye bye to ugly ends. Okay, then I moved on to the back of my hair, which was, which is actually not difficult to do at all. I went through this much quicker than the front. I was able to maintain a lot of length, however, creating healthier ends than before. Two hours later. I'm all done. My hair feels so much lighter. Oh yeah. Trimmed a lot of what I expected because it's been it's been years since I trimmed my hair. This is how much hair I trimmed. My ends feel a little bit better. This is the back. I filmed this video 8 months ago and I wanted to show you an update of what my hair looks like. It has more or less regained a lot of the length that we previously had, but without the struggle of my ends being all tangled all the time, my hair is a lot easier to handle and detangle. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. That's it for today. Let me know in the comments below how often do you trim your hair? I think I'm going to do it a little bit more regularly than every three or four years. Sorry. Oops. Remember to like this video and subscribe. See you all in the next video.